We're sort of in this weird place when it comes to iPhone rumors. So like you probably heard the phrase and I've said it in a lot of my videos. I've been using this product for X amount of months and this is my experience. It's all over YouTube. So in this case, so I've been using this guy for about six months and I've been really vocal about my issues I've had with insomnia and anxiety and how those two have gone hand in hand. One thing I've never had was a way to understand my sleep, to sort of see my information on how I was sleeping then use that information to try to solve my kind of underlying problems. This is Aura Ring, and it's doing just that. So again, been wearing this for six months, long before Aura and I were ever talking about doing something sponsored, but they've seen me tweet about my results, they've seen me talk publicly about my sleep issues, and they reached out to see if I wanted to do a sponsored video where I talked about the ring in kind of an honest, open setting. So while this video is sponsored, this is a product that I have been using, again, for over half a year, and it has become completely invaluable in my life, and it's been so important to me. I actually got one for my wife as well. There's a lot of other technology on the market that can help with sleep. Some of it is probably really good, uh, but it hasn't worked for me. I've got an Apple Watch on. There's sleep tracking on here, but as somebody who has sleep issues, again, and is also a very light sleeper, wearing a watch kept getting caught on my pillow when I kind of stick my hand underneath it at night, and it became really uncomfortable for me to wear. So like, this is the time in most videos where I'd kind of like run through the specs on something. I thought it'd be a lot more fun and a bit more genuine to kind of show you my whole day from start to finish and how the aura ring plays a role in it. So after I get up, generally, I will either take my phone or my iPad and I'll check email, see what I got going on for the day. I'll check my calendar. I'll check the stock market that day, which either will get me excited or send my heart rate crashing. One of the two. Uh, but usually after all those things, one of the first things I'll do is check the Aura app to see how I slept. And like last night, for example, I think I slept really well. Uh, I went to sleep a little bit later than I'd like, around like 11, 15, but I don't think I woke up throughout the night and I, I woke up feeling okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up the app here. As long as you have the ring close to your phone, it will automatically transfer in your night's sleep. And now I can see what it did. Okay, so uh, I did not sleep as well as I thought. I was in bed for just about seven hours and slept only five hours and 46 minutes, which was not awesome. And I, for somebody who didn't think they were awake at all all night, I was awake one, two, three, four, and the fifth time woke up for the morning. So that goes to show you, you don't always realize how well you slept and that translates to how well you're gonna be prepared for the day. Um, so I can see that every time I went into deep sleep, almost immediately afterwards, I woke up, which is not like the best for you know, keeping your, your head ready and your mind ready. So I'm able to go ahead and see all these things. I can see what my readiness score was, for example. Um, and I can see my sleep score, and generally I'll use my readiness score versus my wife's readiness score. Uh, and see whoever got the highest one has to get the kids up that morning. In this case, uh, definitely not me. So this is where like my day really begins. I generally get like 10 minutes to myself down here before uh, the kids come down for breakfast and I gotta jet off to take them to school. This is really where I'll sort of go in and sort of figure out what my day is going to be. And usually I swear if I'm doing stock trading that day, I'll actually go through and do my trades. It's also where I kind of go into Aura and kind of learn about my night's sleep. So at least I can know what I'm getting myself into during the day. And if you go inside of the app, there's a lot of information there. And sometimes it can be hard to parse it out, understand what it means. And for the first like three months that I used the ring, I completely ignored something called an HRV score. And I had no idea what it was. It stands for heart rate variability. 
and that's sort of the fluctuation of your heart rate. This is something that I never knew about myself. Uh, you would want a higher HRV instead of a lower one. So looking at it on a chart, sort of the higher one indicates your heart adapts better to change um, and can sort of limit your stress and anxiety. My number is not that, and I do have a healthy heart, something that I get checked pretty regularly because I have heart disease in my family, but it's a big indicator for me of sort of incoming stress or anxiety throughout the day. So other things with the HRV, the lower the score, the more susceptible I could be to panic attacks or to you know, big anxiety throughout the day. So again, just another indicator to gauge how I'm going to be that day, for us to give my wife a heads up that maybe I'm extra cranky uh, throughout that day, which is true. So the app has been really useful for me for sleep, but it does a lot throughout the day to help it better understand you. And you can sort of add things called tags. There's a little plus button when you go into the app and you can add a bunch of crazy things in there. You could add uh, exercise, you could add naps, you could add good meals, you could add a bunch of things and the app could understand sort of what happened at that moment and give it context, sort of better recommend things that you can do throughout your day. And it doesn't have to always be like huge things that you're doing, kind of experimented with different routines and things about my diet, see how they impact my sleep. So in these insights and recommendations tend to like, get better over time as the ring learns more about you. Uh, in fact, some of these recommendations have turned into long-term habits for me, which ultimately has made me healthier even without the ring. Like, so for example, if I have a glass of wine at night, I can indicate that. And a general thought is wine helps you sleep. Sometimes it does help you do that, but the quality of sleep, at least for me, I've found to be worse. Did I take melatonin that night? Did I take some sort of sleep aid? Sort of all those things I can let the app and the software know to give me better information throughout my day. Um, I just got a Peloton contraction that's all I'm allowed to talk about now for the next three months, but if I'm gonna exercise, for example, again, I can let the app know that uh, as well. And if you wear an Apple Watch, for example, while you're working out, uh, Aura lets you add your workout data to the app. This is pretty awesome. They're kind of working with what you already have to paint an even larger picture of your, your general health. Ordinarily, my thought was more exercise, the better I will sleep. That sort of always made sense to me. Not always uh, has been the case. Sometimes it's reversed. The better I sleep, the better my exercise uh, can be. And Or's kind of given me insight to that. So for example, last night is a perfect example. I thought that I slept a solid seven and a half hours of sleep. I woke up, checked the app, and I was up several times and only slept about five and a half hours. And you can check on what your REM sleep is. And if you don't know, REM sleep is when your body does a lot of the healing and it makes the human growth hormone that could let your body heal and also gets you ready for a workout, it makes it work out sort of the best that you can do. Or it will tell you like, hey, you didn't get much last night. You may want to take a day off. And who am I to argue with AI when it comes to not working out? Um, so we're just giving me more information uh, as to what I wanna do for working out and how my body is going to uh, respond to it in general. All right, so tiny violin, sad story about my sleep over. Uh, I've had breakfast, got my kids fed, put my kids in the car, drive them to school. Uh, next step after that is to head down to the studio. So once there, I'll get together with whoever is shooting the video that day. I'll go over some notes and sort of talk about the video and then sit down to essentially shoot it. Uh, it's a pretty simple process. We'll run through the outline. I'm not a very good actor, so we don't generally script out my videos. You can usually tell when I'm reading. We'll sort of go through what we want to film that day. I'll give my thoughts and opinions. Uh, the director that I'm working with at that point will give their thoughts and opinions. And then we sort of sit down and this is what I see for most of my day. And especially like this point of sitting in this chair uh, and getting ready to do my job is where that readiness and restful score really kind of comes into play. And I can see the difference sort of physically on my face and mentally how sharp I am when I'm sort of doing the on-camera portion of my job. I don't have many talents in life, but the one thing that I've been able to be okay at and build a career on is speaking and being able to speak quickly on my feet. And if I didn't sleep well, if I didn't get a lot of restful sleep, that limits my ability directly to do my job and also makes me look like garbage um, on camera. So being more aware of that and sort of letting the guys know like, hey, I didn't sleep that well last night. Just giving you a general heads up um, sort of helped me kind of prepare to, I guess, make better videos. So like, I get that this is a unique situation. You know, what I do for a living, 
But this relates to anybody's job, anybody's day at school, whatever you are doing throughout your day, you're not gonna be able to do the best version of that unless you got rest, unless you got you know, your REM sleep and your body could recover, unless you got your deep sleep and your mind could heal and get better throughout the day. It helps you know what you are getting into and sort of make changes. But during those Techno Buffalo days, I would leave the office, leave the studio, and I would go home and keep working. Not physically be at home, but the work never stopped. I'd wake up, work would begin, I'd go to bed, and that would be my only break throughout the day, and that wasn't a healthy way for me to live. It was sort of, again, wonderful career, but bad for my head and bad for my body. And that's sort of oddly one of the reasons that I've been wearing the Aura Ring so regularly the past six months and sort of given me an opportunity to be more introspective, to understand my body better and to sort of see how good it is physically for my health when I prioritize my, my home life and my happiness over sort of the grind of, of work. And sort of the Aura Ring has again given me an insight to understand things like that better. And now I'm in a more fortunate position, lucky position, where I can choose to end my day in the mid-afternoon if I want. And I can go pick up my kids and I could be home for them. I could take them to their soccer practice. I could take them to swim lessons. We could just hang out and be a family. And things like that are so important to my own mental health, to the health of the business. And something I never prioritized before, uh, really ever uh, in my life. And that was a mistake that I made and one that I've been trying to work on. And now I can tangibly see the benefit of that on my health. I can see how taking that time can help me sleep better, can reduce my stress, reduce my anxiety, reduce my panic. They used to sort of just come on at a moment's notice. And again, being able to talk to my body, I keep saying that, but it's, a, it's very true. I sort of armed me with the tools I need to take better care of myself, to be a better father, to be a better husband, and to ultimately do a better job making these videos.